They were an authentic MC and DJ group. The best DJs in the world. What started in the Bronx, they took it to another level. What we never really get to hear about is the other cats from Brooklyn. These cats in Philly were on something else. They both won world championships, so that pretty much speaks for itself. Prepare yourself. First of all, this dude right here. If you mention his name, it's like, yo, you know what I mean? They back up. For the most anticipated hip hop story ever told. Transformer, what? This guy's diction was explicit. Dude, you spit. You know what I mean? His ability to have different rhyme styles and flows was phenomenal. Intricate flow and, and wordplay. All about, yo, I'm the best rapper out here and nobody can mess with me, you know what I'm saying? I am the F to the R to the E. They were like the priest by me when you watch the martial arts movie. A world champion DJ who would join forces with a world champion MC. Never before seen images include Yo-Yo, Ice-T, MC Light, Ice Cube, Moni Love and DJ Wiz. Once people heard your name and that you won that battle, you were pretty much the man. The winner, world champion. World Supreme Hip Hop. The Fresco and Miz story. I was like, wow, this is the same guy who was breakdancing. This is the same guy who was b-boying. And at the same time, I knew he did grab. So I was like, this guy was a, a true, true student or son of hip hop. Like on paint, or behind the microphone, and dance, you know? So this guy was the real deal. But you don't really hear about Brooklyn until you hear about Big Daddy Kane. He was hot, don't get me wrong. There was a whole lot going on in Brooklyn with MCs and DJs long before that. And we, we had MCs, you know, um, like Fresco, who people knew and people feared. It's like, oh no, Fresco's coming in the party. But we don't hear these stories. Miz used to DJ for Ice Cream Tea. And that's how I really first heard about him. I was like, wait a minute, I know that dude. All of the Philly DJs are just nice. There's probably, they probably were the best DJs in the world at that time. You know, and I'm barring none. I was like, yo, this kid is nice. I'm like, yo, what's going on here? They were an authentic MC and DJ group. A bomb skilled DJ and a bomb skilled MC put together. It was like a perfect team. It was like a perfect duo, like a grand champion in both aspects, both of them winning that, that seminar. And we won the belt, the championship belt. That's how we became partners. And then we took it from there. I am the F to the R to the E to the S to the A. So when I grab the mic, I make sure that you all go dope. Cause I ain't no joke, I rap hard. Foes get pissed and they run like track stars. They're ripping the scratch. Yeah, let me tell you who he is. DJ Miz. The year? 1989. Rap music was in its daisy age, spoken in its native tongue, transforming from its fat gold chain image and opening its arms to welcome in real talk rappers from the West. But for a brief moment in a rapidly expanding culture, hip hop would birth two of her most skillful sons, two students of the game who would draw a vivid picture of what their version of a dream team would be, able to scratch with laser-like precision and rip microphones in a single round. 
This would not be a story of rags to mogul, nor would it be the story of pop radio superstars. Instead, this would be a story that true hip hop lovers would know about, who would tell their friends, who would then describe the story to their friends, and so on and so on, until the ongoing talk of these two particular craftsmen is better known as World Supreme Hip Hop, the Fresco and Miz story. Two young men from two distant cities with two very different travels. Freshco and Miz would take all of the skill they've honed over the years and take a crack at world supremacy. Freshco, this prolific MC from Brooklyn, and 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 Miz was a baby. He was a baby. And it's like everybody just like took him on as their like little brother, their little baby brother or something. Miz was a dude that was just retarded on the turntables. Like, his style was just so unique. And, like, technically, lyrically, sonically, you guys were ill. One, two, three. And then Fresco. Fresco, first of all, this dude right here. Professor Paul used to tell me stories about the best MCs and the greatest DJs. He told me about Jazzy Jeff and Cash Money. They were world champion DJs. World champion. How could you ever get to that level? The New Music Seminar. This is where Jazzy Jeff and Cash Money won their championships. Hip hop back then was captivating. MCs and DJs from all over the planet would find their way here to try to get a record deal, to see if they could stand up against the best of the best, or simply to witness something they can tell their friends for years to come. Before you ever even heard of OPP and Hip Hop Hooray, Tretch was making his name at the New Music Seminar. My story can't claim of how I got rich in hip hop. I never sold millions of records. But I can tell you about a time when my partner Miz and I permanently etched our names in hip hop history. We both had a little something we wanted to show people at the New Music Seminar. I remember we would make fun of dudes still rapping while approaching their 30s. So I figured I'd ride for a while and then I'd move on. We're live here with Ralph McDaniel. We're gonna get into the next video. What video would you like to see? Um, the new one by Fresco, that kid Fresco from Brooklyn, I think. Okay. All the established artists out here, old school cats. I don't know about the new school cats, but any old school cats that know about Fresco, you mention his name, it's like, yo, you know what I mean? They back up, for real. That's how he brought it, man. Things that Fresh did, that, you know, Jay-Z and Original Flavor and those kind of guys were doing, Fresco had that on Smash, early. Calendar. Yeah, this is D-Nice, right? Chilling on Fresco Music Box. Cool. 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 Cool.
Freestyling, just spitting off the top of your head about whatever's on your mind. Can't beat it. After sitting in your circles, listen to that chit chat. So, black sheep got no armor right now, so now that does not matter. Yeah. Tris is swinging this and you know that I won't stop. Right. So, while I got your ears, let me go ahead and shout. No fighter with no life because he's never living right. What? No rhyme will go with you know, because I'm never right. Brothers, I be coming with that brown, brown, brown. But no, I got that New York sound. What's his name? But the rhyme, or they kick the rhyme on time to incline your mind to another regular shit. People go with that rhyme, I really don't know that I got the tempo. Yo. We didn't do it to get rich. It wasn't about how many guns I can get. We just loved our hip hop. Once you win the seminar, it's pretty much known in the hip hop world. And that means the world because the New Music Seminar went to US, Japan, Germany, all these places. So once people heard your name and that you won that battle, you were pretty much the man. What the audience would witness on that day would be nothing less than historic. I met him about a year ago, but I had no clue this guy was this good. So many people, and in front of all the celebrities we looked up to. The winner, world champion MC for NMS 10 is MC Fresco. World champion DJ, DJ Mills. This is where it all started right here. 58th in Florence, Southwest Philly. The neighborhood where the Scratch Mix DJ was, was really defined. We're halfway between DJ Cash Money and DJ Jazzy Jeff. My name is DJ Miz. It's the crib where I was born, raised. Uh, it's the crib where I got my first pair of turntables, my first SB1200. And I started, uh, I learned everything about hip hop right here in this spot. By the time I got an SP, Jeff had won the seminar. The story, the story goes, the first time anybody around here saw an SP was the Fresh Fest 86, Mantronic. DJ Mantronic was the first one to bring a, a SP-12 out of, the, out of the studio and into everybody's faces. Um, so naturally, Jazzy Jeff and everybody else followed suit. <laughs> 